Oh, hello guys, my name is Jack, and today I'll be teaching you a few tips and tricks that I know about Marble Blast games. If you're already an experienced Marble Blaster, then you probably know these already, but if you're not, then you might learn something cool, way. Jack Tutorials! Yippee! So on the surface, Marble Blast Code and all the other Marble Blasting games look pretty simple, way. You roll a marble around, and collect gems, then hit the finish pad. And for a lot of levels in Marble Blast, that's pretty much it, eh? But for the more complicated custom levels, mod packs, or inspired follow-ups, there can be some pretty monstrously hard levels that even I can't manage, eh? So I'll divide the tips into four sections, movement, power-ups, and environment, and then hazards, eh? Alright, now for the first step movement, We'll start with jump rolling. By holding down the jump button and continuously jumping while you roll, you can gain additional speed, but be careful not to lose control, eh? Wall hit. By jumping and hitting a wall, you can gain additional height than you would just by jumping. You can use this to reach platforms perpendicular to the wall or opposite the wall, as in above and behind you. Diagonal movement. By holding down forward, Plus either left or right, you can gain additional speed than you would just by holding down forward, but you have to adjust where you're looking to stay straight and it can be pretty hard to control, eh? You can combine this with jump movement to gain even more speed. Corner hit! By rolling into the lip of a corner at speed, it can propel you into the air. It's useful for overcoming walls in front of you that are too high to jump over and have no other walls to war hit over. You can also hit it using diagonal movement, but it's already quite tricky as it is, and it might take a lot of tries, eh? Step 2. Power-ups. Power-up jump timing. For example, if you're using a super jump, if you activate the power-up at the apex of your jump, you'll gain additional height. Additionally, if you're rolling fast, you can jump and activate your power-up at the exact same time to preserve speed and jump further instead of jumping and activating at the apex. Combining power-ups. By collecting one power-up, then rolling before another, you can get the effects of both. First collect the timed effect ones such as Super Bounce, Shock Absorber, or Gyrocopter. Then activate it right before you collect the instant effect ones such as Super Speed and Super Jump. My ex-wife quite liked two-timing as well. You can even do this for the same power-up instance to get a more potent effect, such as waiting for another super speed to spawn. Some cool combos are super jump plus super jump, gyrocopter plus super speed, and my personal favorite, gyrocopter plus super jump. Time travels. Don't discount the effect of time travels when you're trying to hit par times. Many of them feature varying amounts of time saving, so know which ones are worth collecting, eh? If you're going for a speed run, Time travel power-ups are essential. If only I could time travel back to before I met my ex-wife, eh? Shock Absorber Wall Climb. If you have a Shock Absorber, you can activate it and hurl yourself against the wall to gain additional climbing traction. It may make the difference between making it or not. Gyrocopter War Hit. One of the best case uses for the gyrocopter if you have a spear. Activate the gyrocopter and slam yourself against the wall to gain upward momentum. You can use this to cross gaps or travel across the level, eh? Saving power-ups. If you're given a power-up to overcome an obstacle, but you're able to pass it without using the power-up, then it can be handy to keep that baby in your inventory so that when something harder comes up later, you'll have it handy, eh? Step 3. The Environment. Hidden Helpers. Sometimes there may be power-ups or useful things positioned behind the starting line, and if you're having trouble on a level, be sure to check for hidden items such as time travels or power-ups to help your marble blasting journey, eh? Shortcuts. Keep an eye out for places where you can skip portions of the level, but be careful you're not skipping any gems in the process. Locked or default camera or tight ropes. If you encounter any tightrope levels, it might help to keep your hand off the mouse as you spawn and not move it from the perfect alignment, eh? But I'm not actually sure how often you'll need to use this. Speeding off ramp shortcuts. 
If you have a super speed and there's a curved ramp ahead of you that has a 90 degree slope or steeper, you can boost yourself off the side of the ramp for some massive height gain. Assuming you hit it right, eh? Step 4. Hazards. Bumper jump. You can jump on top of bumpers for extra height. Jumping on slick surfaces. You can jump on mud, oil slicks and space to gain control of your marble while in mid-air. Fan lift. You can jump on top of fans to get a nice boost to height, but watch out if there aren't any guard walls, eh? You'll fall out of bounds if you don't control yourself. Well, those are all the tips I have for you now. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found out something cool, eh? If not, then blame it on my ex-wife. Anyway, my name has been Jack, and I'll see you in the next one!